after another six hour drive. Finally here, Shenandoah National Park. Probably my favorite campground park I've ever been to in my entire life. This is my second time here and it's already blowing me away. I love these little scenic overlooks and everything. But I know I have my parents waiting for me at the campground, so about to get on the road again. If you guys are really into noticing the small things, you'll notice that this is legitimately the same exact campsite that I was in last year when I was here. So that's something pretty cool that I was able to do. I just realized that it's kind of crazy that yesterday I was camping in South Carolina and it was about 95 degrees in the middle of the afternoon. And about the same time here in Virginia today, it was 49 when I last checked the temperature. It's only gonna get colder tonight. So I went through like a close to 50 degree change in less than 24 hours. That's kind of cool. Well, howdy neighbor. No, park right here. Yeah. So after I came in, I set up the tent and my parents met me at the campsite. I made a quick dinner and then we went out and I wanted to show them the deer that come out at sunset at the big meadows right across the street from where we're staying. So we went over there, got some really cool shots of some deer. Some deer got really close to us, no bucks yet. about 49 or 50 degrees and I'm gonna huddle up in my sleeping bag and just try and stay warm tonight and then tomorrow we're gonna do some hikes and see if we can get some waterfalls so see you tomorrow good morning everyone that was one of the windiest nights look it's still well, just watch. That was one of the windiest nights I've ever had camping. There was points where this tent was just, and my whole truck was just like shaking. Just gonna slowly wake up, get dressed, eat some breakfast, and then see if I'm gonna go do some hikes right quick. This place is incredible. I love this place. My parents are actually over at the cafe. My mom's not feeling the best right now. So my dad and I went on that really nice hike this morning over to the Dark Hollow Falls. And we saw a bunch of brook trout, saw the waterfall, it was really nice. Went back, made some lunch, and they're actually chilling at the cafe right now. They're just getting some hot chocolate and just watching over the meadow. And they actually dropped me off here and I kind of went on one of these little trails through the meadow and I came up to this spot right here with all these mountains and everything in the background. It's just so cool.
Good morning everyone. So it's about 7.30 right now and what I want to do is I want to get up and walk over to the Big Meadows now in the morning. I've never gone there in the morning. So that was a productive morning. I found my first buck of the trip. I think it was an eight pointer. I'm gonna have to watch the video to confirm that, but it was nice to finally get one after two days of looking for one. Still haven't found the bear yet, but I think it's time for me to head back to the campsite, cook up some eggs for breakfast, and then see what my parents wanna do this afternoon before apparently it's gonna rain. So we gotta get some more uh, nature watching and see if we can find that bear before it rains. A couple things going on right now. One thing and the most important thing is uh, my parents had to leave early. Uh, my mom woke up and her ear was like infected and like half her face was swollen. So her and my dad went to the doctors and they're probably not gonna come back. So I'm out here by myself today, but another thing that's gonna happen is it's about 11.30 right now and around two or four o'clock, thunderstorms are about to roll in until literally until tomorrow afternoon yeah a lot of things going on right now but what I'm planning to do is pack up the tent pack up my entire site right here and try and get one more hike in see if I can go to I think it's called Lewis Falls I went there last year I want to kind of recreate everything I did last year once the rain starts probably head over to where my parents are staying over at the lodge and just spend the night there if it was just rain I would have no problem. It's the fact that it's like thunderstorms and like lightning and everything. And it's been super windy here the past couple of nights. So I don't want fallen branches on me. I don't want lightning. I, that's my number one fear in life. I don't want lightning. I don't want to get struck by lightning. What I'm going to do is pack everything up, get in the truck, head to the, the trail, hike that right quick, and then probably head back to the lodge and just chill there tonight. I love this place. You got waterfalls, you got wildlife, you got hikes. It's, it's perfect. Now I'm gonna head back to the the truck and then head to the the lodge probably and get settled in before this thunderstorm and rain all starts. Probably start editing some of these videos. I have not looked at any of this footage yet, so it should be pretty interesting. Start heading back. Good morning everyone. So last night it did pour and I did hear some lightning off in the distance. So I was kind of glad that I was in this room and not the tent. And it's still kind of raining right now and it's in the low 40s. It dropped real low. What I'm planning to do is try and hit the road as soon as I can because I have about a seven, seven and a half hour drive to get to my next stop at the Great Smoky Mountains. So go ahead, get all my stuff all packed up and then hit the car and hit the road. Got the truck all packed up now, it's time to hit the road. 
it's always sad leaving places like this. I love Shenandoah. It's probably one of my favorite campgrounds I've ever been to. I'm going to another special place in Cades Cove right now, so very excited at the possibility of maybe seeing a bear there. It's really, I went to like two of the most berry places in the United States, so. We'll see if I can see a black bear there. That's, that's the goal for that trip. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That would really mean a lot to me. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.